Hey folks, it's Wayne Davis, the host of the Role Playing History podcast. Just doing a little audio drop. I'm actually recording this and dropping it both on the podcast stream and the YouTube stream on the same day. Uh, doing it for reasons. First thing I wanted to do is I wanted to apologize to our YouTube viewers, for those who get the podcast from there. Uh, Friday's episode was apparently rather foobard. That's my fault. Uh, I recorded it a couple weeks ago. Didn't realize I had screwed up the edit that bad until Friday. And then for reasons I'll get into in a minute, I just got around to being able to get it edited on Tuesday night. So as I am recording this, it is fixed on YouTube. You can go back and get your fix. And I'll explain all the reasons why in a minute. But I just wanted to say that's all kosher, cool, and done. Something not related to... Uh, the technical glitches on YouTube, but that I did want to do real quick. Wanted to get the word out to all our peeps uh, over in the UK. And I say over because I'm in the Midwest of the United States. Uh, if you're in the Oxford area over there in uh, the United Kingdom and you want to do some in-store gaming, I want you to hit somebody up, somebody that I've been um, tweeting back and forth with. So hit up Ace on Twitter. Their tag is at book muse at b o o k m e w s they are a a phenomenal individual working hard to try to put some uh in-store gaming events back together over there in the oxford area since uh at least in that area things seem to be getting back to to some semblance of normal so uh again ace is really really cool they've um <laughs> Again, they, they're really working hard to try to get some stuff done. So if you're in the Oxford area over in the UK, want to do some uh, in-store gaming or I think gaming in general, really, uh, Ace seemed like the person who'd, who'd really be cool with that. That Twitter handle is at B-O-O-K-M-E-W-S. And I know they would probably prefer a Twitter direct message. And yes, I said I was going to put this out here, so it's not going to come as a shock if you do that. Okay, need to take another hot second to explain why the screw up on Friday's YouTube didn't get fixed till tonight. So the last three episodes of the podcast. So that would be the episode that uh, ran on the podcast two weeks ago, the episode that ran last week, and the episode that's going to drop on the podcast this coming Friday, which would be Friday the 13th. Ooh, there's a day built for screw-ups. Anyway, those were all uh, researched, written, recorded, edited, and set up for, uh, for drops in about an 8 to 10 day period. And the reason for that, I can announce now, uh, the reason for that is my daughter uh, was pregnant. And Monday morning at 12, 17 a.m. our time, my grandson was born. So, I put a bunch of episodes in the can at one time so that I would be available to, because my daughter lives with my wife and I, so I would be available to kind of uh, get her out to appointments and do all these other things. And then obviously I wanted to be free for the birth of my grandson, but of course, fucking COVID, I can't go to the hospital. So I'm, I'm at home. So that's how the whole YouTube thing got uh, hung up and screwed up and not fixed till tonight. This is literally the first opportunity that I have had since I realized there was a problem to get it fixed. So uh, redoing that one, I'm redoing uh, uh, the episode that's going to drop on YouTube this coming Friday, which, you know, was last week on the, on the podcast feed. So that stuff will be okay. I have figured out what I did wrong. So uh, episode 12, when it drops next Friday on YouTube, I will not make those same mistakes. And going forward, I'm going to try to be about a week ahead on podcasts. So there you go on that. Oh, and I wanted to mention, uh, cause I've thrown it out there on Twitter and I've thrown it out there on Facebook and I'm not going to get another chance before next week to do it on Friday, the 27th of August. I intend for the podcast to do an episode on, uh, live gaming streams like Critical Role, Dimension 20, um, stuff like that. If you've got one that you listen to regularly uh, that isn't Critical Role or Dimension 20 or NADPOD, which I listen to, all three of those, 
Um, or uh, Matt Colville's The Chain, which I've also, if it's not one of those four, uh, hit me up uh, through any of the normal channels, which are also going to be available uh, on the information for this. And I'm going to give those a, a, a watch or a listen because I want to do what I can to kind of try to promote uh, the stuff that other people are doing. It's kind of a, um, I guess, a tit for tat. I, you know, hopefully if I promote them, they'll listen to the podcast and maybe we can keep this little thing growing. Hey, it's it can be altru- I can have an altruistic reason for wanting to do it and still want to try to help my podcast succeed, okay? I can get two for one. All right, that's it. That's all. Uh, that's going to be the last of the new stuff from me, uh, new record stuff for me until I come up with the next, uh, next Friday podcast, so the one for the 20th, So because everything else is already in the can and ready to go. So that's me. That's the podcast. And until the next step, you are uh, you're role playing history.